Hi there, this is Jason Dunn from Zune Thoughts. This is going to be a quick video that shows me connecting my uh, Zune 8, so this is the 8GB Zune player, connecting it to the Zune desktop software for the very first time uh, to see how the synchronization experience works. So my Zune software is already up and running. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, connect the Zune to the Zune dock. The new Zune dock is the one that's actually on the left. So right now the Zune is turned off. So I'm just going to reach in and I'm going to uh, connect it and we should see the Zoom wake up. There it goes. So it's actually booting up right now. As it does that, let's switch back to look at what happens on the desktop. I just heard the Vista chime saying that a new USB device had been uh, connected. And if I look down in the corner here, I'll actually see that uh, Vista is installing the device driver software. And because I'm a curious sort, I'll click on it and it says that the software uh, for the Zune has been successfully installed. So I'll click close. Now I suspect any second here the Zune software should uh, give me some sort of indication that there is a uh, device connected. Now not surprisingly, and I kind of had a hunch this was going to happen, it's actually telling me that there's a new software version. So um, not surprisingly the Zunes that Microsoft uh, got back from the factory in between the time that they had you know, sort of finalized the spec and started building the devices they had actually uh, upgraded the software. So version 2 is what comes on the Zunes when you buy it in a store and version 2.1 uh, build 1014 is the new version. So I'm going to click on install and what it's going to do is uh, download and install the software it gives me a nice big uh, indicator. That's actually pretty cool looking. And then it tells me that it is um, updating my Zune. It says, please, please do not disconnect your device and that it might take a minute. So we will just sort of stand by here and uh, wait for the Zune software to finish doing what it needs to do. It usually doesn't take longer than about uh, 20 or 30 seconds. Um, and there's no real indication. There we go. So my Zune is actually rebooting off of camera. So I can tell that it's... Uh, is almost done. We'll zoom in on it here and show you. So right now the Zune is actually updating the firmware and it actually says uh, please wait on the screen of the Zune. It might be a little bit hard to see. And uh, we'll come back as soon as the process is done. Alright so I just heard the chime from uh, my Zune telling me that it was reconnecting to Windows. Uh, so I assume that means that any second now the Zune software is going to tell me that uh, the update is finished. The Zune is now officially rebooting uh, and it's showing me the Zune screen. There's the connection chime. So we should have the Zune software telling us that the update is now finished any second now. The Zune says that it is connected. So we should be seeing something I would think. It must still be uh, connecting. There we go. So now up in the top there it actually says device is up to date. It tells me I have version 2.1 of the software and that I have an 8 gigabyte Zune. And now down in the lower corner, there's actually an option that says Next. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Next. We'll zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole screen. Uh, what it's telling me, uh, it says one of the ways you can personalize your Zune is to be creative and pick any name that you want. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to be generic. I'm just going to call my, my Zune Zune. And, um, it allows you to link your Zune to a Zune tag uh, and I'm actually going to skip that for now so that I can uh, change it a little bit later. Um, and then now we have the, the, the sort of smart playlist functionality. So there's a few different options, uh, syncing all my music or letting, letting me choose and the same options for video, picture and podcasts. Uh, so right now everything is set to let me choose. Um, and then it says something interesting here. It says when you select a when you select let me choose a sync group is created each time you drag an artist, album, song, playlist, picture, folder, or other item uh, to your Zoom. It says uh, as your as time goes by, your sync groups keep your Zoom automatically up to date with the latest content that has been added to each group. So that's kind of interesting. It looks like it might be an evolution of the smart playlist functionality. I'm going to click on finish, and we're going to come back to uh, the Zoom software. And I suspect now that when I click on a device, yeah, there we go. So it actually shows me a uh, great looking graphic of my eight gigabyte green Zune. And down at the bottom here, it tells me that uh, my total space used is 437 megabytes and I have 7.49 7 gigabytes free. I'm not entirely sure what 
the 437 megabytes is used is, I imagine that's the Zune software and maybe possibly even some sort of, uh, of content on there, although I don't think there's any content included by default. Now if I click on Start Sync, you'll see that because I haven't actually done anything, it just says that the, the device is simply up to date. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, actually undock the Zoom and I'm going to check and see if there is actually any content on the device because that was something I was really curious about, that Microsoft didn't seem to include any content on the device. So stand by while I check that out.